Hey guys, and welcome to my April book haul. As you saw from the thumbnail, it's a very small book haul compared to my others, but I'm okay with that because I've been buying an enormous amount of books since I started booktube, and I'm very happy to say that I only have six books to show you, one of which I went on Goodreads, and I'll be showing you that one first. The book is from HarperCollins, and it's called In the Shadow of the Gods, a Bound Gods novel by Rachel Dunn. I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. And this is an uncorrected proof. The book actually comes out next month on the 16th. And I don't know much about this book, and that's kind of how I prefer going into high fantasy novels. I'll leave the Goodreads link to this book in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. The next book I got, I bought from the book outlet, and it is Catalyst by Lydia Kang. And this is the second book in the Control duology. I believe it's duology. And since this is the second book, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it, but I will leave a link to the first book in the description box below. The next book I have is Angel Fall by Susan E. And I truly don't know a lot about this book. I mainly bought this book because of the positive reviews it was getting. I do know it has a lot to do with angels. I'll leave links to all these books in the description box below if you want to learn anything else about them. The next book I have is one I've been looking for all over the place, and I found it at Half Price Books when I wasn't even looking for it. And that is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I have been looking for this book everywhere, and it seems like nobody has had it. It's like they've had the other books in the series, but they haven't had the first book. I love that it's floppy because the spine won't bend, and the cover kind of feels leathery. And the only thing I really know about this novel is it takes place in Scotland and there's time travel involved. The main character actually, she touches a stone while she's on vacation in Scotland, I think, and she gets teleported back in time. Seeing as it's so big, it'll probably take me a while to get to it. I've heard that these books can take a lot out of you. The next book I got was Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Ultimate Guide. You open it up and you have like playing cards Ooh. you have playing cards of uh, I guess some of the main characters you get some very nice illustrations throughout the book and a lot of information about the gods and about their weaponry and you also get information about their magical items and just stuff like that everything a demigod would need to survive in Percy Jackson I've actually read a couple pages out of it now the last book I have to show you is actually a rebuy for me. I had The Lost Heroes in paperback version. And I bought this when the book first came out in paperback. But as you can see, I have all the other books in hardback. So this book was kind of like The Son of Neptune. It just got pushed to the back behind Mark of Athena because I like the Mark of Athena's cover. But it just irritates me how I had a paperback copy of one of the books and the rest of the series was in hardback. So after months of searching, I finally find the hardback version of The Lost Heroes at Half Price Books with the dust jacket. There was plenty of hardbacks there without the dust jacket, but I wanted the pretty dust jacket. I'm also really, really excited to be reading this series for the first time. I'm hoping to at least start this series in May. Well, these are all the books that I bought in the month of April. Let me know in the comments below what books you guys bought this month. Until next time, guys. Bye!